Hello everybody, we will be discussing now mirror syndrome. Um, by terminology, you can understand that the mother has become the mirror image of the fetus. If the fetus can't uh, manage uh, too much fluid in their body, uh, then mother takes up some fluid in her placenta and also in the intravascular space. So in the case of uh, significant placental high drops, the mother develops uh, this uh, life-threatening complication known as mirror syndrome. So uh, what are the symptoms mother has? Uh, suppose uh, she comes to you and complains of weight gain, fatigue, headache or dyspnea in a known case of non-immune high drops. Uh, then you should uh, think of uh, mirror syndrome. It is also known as Ballantin syndrome or triple edema or pseudotoxemia. Uh, and, and please remember that uh, it is uh, mostly similar to uh, preeclampsia. Uh, because both conditions have uh, hypertension, headache, uh, elevated liver function test and uh, pulmonary edema. Uh, and uh, as I have said, it is a life threatening complication. Why is that so? Because uh, it may also lead to eclampsia in the mother as a complication, which we would see mainly in a case of severe preeclampsia. So, uh, you will have to differentiate it from preeclampsia. So, what are the uh, differentiating features? Let's see. First of all, uh, mirror syndrome doesn't have proteinuria. Uh, although uh, both conditions, uh, mirror syndrome and preeclampsia, can lead to hemoconcentration, the main difference is that the mirror syndrome has uh, increased intravascular volume uh, while Preeclampsia has reduced volume in the uh, intravascular compartment. On top of that, uh, preeclampsia has much more creatine in the blood. The mother also complains of epigastric pain and other symptoms of uh, end organ damage in case of severe preeclampsia. Uh, okay, uh, how do you manage if you come up with the diagnosis of mirror syndrome? Uh, first, you need to uh, 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 rule out NIHF from uh, immune high drops as I have discussed in my previous video of non-immune uh, high drops fetalis. Uh, if you do that properly, uh, it will uh, automatically uh, resolve uh, by uh, managing the uh, various uh, etiology of NIHF. If there is eclampsia or uh, pulmonary edema, uh, then we should consider delivery as the first option. Uh, okay, uh, that's all about the mirror syndrome. Uh, there are other complications uh, uh, the mother has uh, uh, in the case of fetal high drops like supine hypotension syndrome, preterm labor and preterm premature rupture of membranes. Uh, okay, uh, we, uh, uh, if you have any uh, suggestions, uh, then uh, write them down in the comment box uh, and um, lastly, keep watching and stay awesome.